that point, I want to get your response. Well, I would like to respond. Let me just ask, though, why did you try to kill that bill, and successfully so? That would have put thousands of additional agents and officers on the border. First, let me respond as to the Please. rallies. She said people start leaving. People don't go to her rallies. There's no reason to go. And the people that do go, she's busing them in and paying them to be there and then showing them in a different light. So she can't talk about that. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, the most incredible rallies in the history of politics. That's because people want to take their country back. Our country is being lost. We're a failing nation. And it happened three and a half years ago. And what, what's going on here, you're going to end up in World War III, just to go into another subject. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. As far as rallies are concerned, as far as the reason they go is they like what I say. They want to bring our country back. They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase, make America great again. She's destroying this country, and if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. I just want to clarify here. You bring up Lindsay. Vice President Harris, in your last run for president. This is the one that weaponized, not me. She weaponized. I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. They talk about democracy. I'm a threat to democracy. They're the threat to democracy president with a Trump. fake Russia, Russia, Russia investigation we do have a lot that to get. went nowhere. We have on the police. In Minnesota, she went out. Wait a minute. I'm talking now. If you don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? She went out. She went out in Minnesota and wanted to let criminals that killed people, that burned down Minneapolis, she went out and raised money to get them out of jail. She did things that nobody would ever think of. Now she wants to do transgender operations on illegal aliens that are in prison. This is a radical left liberal that would do this. She wants to confiscate your guns, and she will never allow fracking in Pennsylvania. If she won the election, fracking in Pennsylvania will end on day one. Just to finish one thing, so important in my opinion. So I got the oil business going like nobody has ever done before. They took, when they took over, they got rid of it, started getting rid of it, and the prices were going up the roof. They immediately let these guys go to where they were. I would have been five times, four times, five times higher, because you're talking about three and a half years ago. They got it up to where I was because they had no choice, because the prices of energy were, were quadrupling and doubling. You saw what happened to gasoline. So they said, let's go back to Trump. But if she won the election, the day after that election, they'll go back to destroying our country, and oil will be dead, fossil fuel will be dead, we'll go back to windmills, and we'll go back to solar, where they need a whole desert to get some energy to come out. It's to the past. Let me just follow up here. It was a different term, and it was a term that related to energy, because they have destroyed our energy business. That was where bloodbath was. Also, on Charlottesville, that story has been, as you would say, debunked. Laura Ingram, Sean Hannity, Jesse, all of these people, they covered it. If they go an extra sentence, they will see it was perfect. It was debunked in almost every newspaper, but they still bring it up, just like they bring 2025 up. They bring all of this stuff up. I ask you this, you talk about the Capitol. Why are we allowing these millions of people to come through on the southern border? How come she's not doing anything? And I'll tell you what I would do, and I would be very proud to do it. I would say we would both leave this debate right now. I'd like to see her go down to Washington, D.C. during this debate, because we're wasting a lot of time. Go down to, because she's been so bad, it's so ridiculous. Go down to Washington, D.C. and let her sign a bill to close up the border, because they have the right to do it. They don't need bills. They have the right to do it. The President of the United States, you'll get him out of bed, you'll wake him up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, right. you'll say, come on, come on down to the office, let's sign a bill. 
if he if he signs a bill that the border is closed, all he has to do is say it to the border patrol, who are phenomenal. If they do that, the border is closed. Mr. Those President, people are killing many people, wanna, unlike J6. Uh, we talked immigration here tonight. I do want to focus on uh, this next issue to both of you, because they're really- One of the most respected men, they call him a strong man. He's a, he's a tough person, smart. Prime Minister of Hungary. They said, why is the whole world blowing up? Three years ago, it wasn't. Why is it blowing up? He said, because you need Trump back as president. They were afraid of him. China was afraid, and I don't like to use the word afraid, but I'm just quoting him. China was afraid of him. North Korea was afraid of him. Look at what's going on with North Korea, by the way. He said Russia was afraid of him. I ended the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, and Biden put it back on day one, but he ended the XL pipeline. The XL pipeline in our country, he ended that, but he let the Russians build a pipeline going all over Europe and heading into Germany, the biggest pipeline in the world. Look, Viktor Orban said it. He said the most respected, most feared person is Donald Trump. We had no problems when Trump was president, but when this weak, pathetic man that you saw at a debate just a few months ago, that if he weren't in that debate, he'd be running instead of her. She got no votes. He got 14 million votes. What you did, you talk about a threat to democracy. He got 14 million votes and they threw him out of office. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. Mr. But he President. got 14 million votes. They threw him out. She got zero votes. And when she ran, she was the first one to leave because she failed. And now she's running. I don't understand it, but Mr. I'm President, okay with it because Your time is I think up. we're going to do very well. We've got a lot more to get to. Turning now yes. to the Israel home. If I were president, it would have never started. If I were president, Russia would have never, ever, I know Putin very well, he would have never, and there was no threat of it either, by the way, for four years, have gone into Ukraine and killed millions of people when you add it up. Far worse than people understand what's going on over there. But when she mentions about Israel, all of a sudden, she hates Israel. She wouldn't even meet with Netanyahu when he went to Congress to make a very important speech. She refused to be there because she was at a sorority party of hers. She wanted to go to the sorority party. She hates Israel. If she's president, I believe that Israel will not exist within two years from now. And I've been pretty good at predictions, and I hope I'm wrong about that one. She hates Israel. At the same time, in her own way, she hates the Arab population because the whole place is going to get blown up. Arabs, Jewish people, Israel, Israel will be gone. It would have never happened. Iran was broke under Donald Trump. Now Iran has $300 billion because they took off all the sanctions that I had. Iran had no money for Hamas or Hezbollah or any of the 28 different uh, spheres of terror, and they are spheres of terror, horrible terror. They had no money. It was a big story, and you know it. You covered it very well, actually. They had no money for terror. They were broke. Now they're a rich nation, and now what they're doing is they're spreading that money around. Look at what's happening with the Houthis and Yemen. Look at what's going on in the Middle East. This would have never happened. I will get that settled and fast, and I'll get the war with Ukraine and Russia ended. If I'm president-elect, I'll get it done before even becoming president. Vice President Harry